But I got to tell you, I think one of the things that Warren Buffett is credited for is spectacularly wrong. And I think everybody quoting this Warren Buffett phrase is going to miss opportunities of their lifetime. And I assume that, that you are referencing some sort of a stress environment. What is it that you're getting at there? I actually think over the next 12 to 24 months, there'll be several areas. The most obvious one that nobody would argue with today is- commercial. I'll say it here. I think that we have probably the best buying opportunity in commercial real estate for good operators in my lifetime. Folks, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I believe Warren Buffett is the best best investor we had. I've read his books, his biography. He is somebody I follow and um, I watch. But I got to tell you, I think one of the things that Warren Buffett is credited for, he is wrong on. And I'm going to go as far as to say he's spectacularly wrong. And I think everybody quoting this Warren Buffett phrase is going to miss opportunities of their lifetime. Let's welcome Taylor to the show, a 10-year Wall Street vet, because I have I bet he has no idea which quote I am talking about. How are you doing? Do you see this concerned look on my face? Because <laughs> I, I have no idea where this is going. And then you're calling the goat a moron in this one line, and then going to ask me what my take is on it, and I have no idea where this is going. So let's do it. <laughs> there you go. So uh, you have undoubtedly heard well over 100 times that Warren Buffett is credited with saying, Hey, when the tide goes out, we see who's swimming naked. You've correct. undoubtedly heard that, correct? Correct. I believe in this social media world, in this you know instant gratification, a lot of people are going to be celebrating looking at all the quote unquote naked people, right? Oh, oh, oh this billionaire Barry lost this. Oh, this guy lost that. And oh, you idiot investors, you lost all of this money. So that's going to happen. And you're going to see endless videos about the people who lost. This is where the Warren Buffett quote goes wrong to me. Stop looking at naked people, you perverted people. <laughs> Look at the ground for all the gold nuggets and diamonds and platinum that they dropped on the ground. Go buy some assets cheap as these losers sell stuff to build cash. The, the winnings, the opportunity is not looking at naked people. It's looking at the ground for what they dropped. That is why I think the Warren Buffett quote is wrong and it will distract people and people will miss opportunities because they don't understand. Rant yeah. over. Yeah. So, okay. Let me, let me have you explain a little further here. When you're referencing the tide going out this time around, what is it that you are thinking is happening that is going to cause that tide to go out where opportunities really do become more meaningful in a stressed environment? And I assume that, that you are referencing some sort of a stressed environment. What is it that you're getting at there? I actually think over the next 12 to 24 months, there'll be several areas. The most obvious one that nobody would argue with today is commercial real estate, specifically the office, retail, yep. hospitality yep. segments. Yep. I believe that will have ripple implications. And again, we are going to talk about Billionaire Barry and his mortgage company that he went BK and he can't do this and he can't do that and all of that stuff. But the pain that Billionaire Barry feels very publicly is happening all the way down the stack. No doubt. There are operators who have 10 unit buildings, eight unit buildings that overpaid. They did value add and they got got. There's going to be lots of opportunity there. It takes work. You got to network. You got to meet bankers. You got to do all of these things. Also, we have mortgage rates for residential real estate at seven and a half percent. It's over eight if you're an investor. Right. Guess what? If you're trying to sell a home today, there's a very good chance that in 30 days, you're going to be more motivated than you are today. If you got to sell, you got to sell. Correct. And this happened last year. I called my shot. I got two deals done when out of the MLS, 30% off. I called it. It's going to happen again. People get lost in the headlines. They celebrate these mythical people who fell off. You know, we, we celebrate when the big boys fall to the ground and crash and burn. Stop it. Look for the opportunity. It will be out. It could be in stocks. It could be in private equity. It could be in. I mean, I don't care what it's in. There will be people under financial stress who need cash and will sell stuff on the cheap. Or there will be banks that need stuff and they'll call their loans. It is going to be. You have no idea where the stress will come up. That's what I'm thinking. I, I totally agree. I think we might see the opportunity of 
potentially my lifetime in the commercial real estate business here within the next 12-ish months. I think that there is already the dark cloud that's forming and you can see it coming and everybody knows it's coming, right? So we know that occupancy rates, specifically in office space, are dismally, dismally low. We see them at 85% in New York City, which is I, I believe, and I'm not stretching to say this, this is an all-time low. And so you see that coming. You know interest rates are incredibly high, so they're getting lower rents coming into them because the occupancy is really low. And you see interest rate payments going higher, mortgage payments going higher as the bank resets on these adjustable rate mortgages. There is pain to come there. It is known that there's pain to come there. It's already happening. And I think that with the right operator, whether it's a portfolio manager from a institutional level or a boots on the ground, like someone like yourself, more focused on the commercial side, not the residential side. It is going to be incredibly, incredibly lucrative, but it takes that good operator to understand the difference. To your point, Michael, when you look at a personal mortgage, that is where someone lives. They have no choice, essentially, unless it is dire straits but to continue to pay that mortgage and take out a mortgage at 7.5% if that makes sense. But when someone has an investment where they start to see the cash flow go negative and maybe they have that investment leveraged against another investment where the cash flow is negative, there becomes a lot of opportunity in companies and operators that end up going belly up for good operators to step in who have not overextended themselves when interest rates over the past decade plus were at near zero and made bad decisions based upon that. That's where the opportunity comes in. And those operators are going to have a field day in the next 12 to 24 months. Again, I'll say it here. I think that we have probably the best buying opportunity in commercial real estate for good operators in my lifetime. I think you're absolutely right. I, and you know, I th I do. I'm glad you said kind of 12 to 24 months because yeah, it's it. it I've been through a cycle with commercial real estate. I think this one will be better. I think there will be more opportunities. Um, but you've got to be ready. You've got to be. You got to do the work. Uh, I think the last two years, frankly, the last three years, financial engineers were rewarded. People who could lever up balance sheets. People who could, you know, um, borrow low, lend high. You know, the margin spread. Uh, people who are paying value add in real estate and gambling, uh, they won and they're not going to win the next three years and it'll be the good operators. And there will be, there'll be lifetime deals. There'll be deals done in the next two years that we write books about Correct. You know, in a decade. And, and, and not for nothing, Michael, but I'll use your words there in the real estate space. And I'll use those words across business in general. Capital allocation has been the number one driver of returns. Right? Where have you been able to allocate your capital when the risk-free rate is zero and leverage yourself against yourself, against your whatever the whatever the, the back underlying commodity is that you're you know saying you're good at? The ability to leverage yourself against that as interest rates are are near zero has been the way to grow businesses looking backwards. But that is we're just in a different regime. And and to be very clear, it's not just a different regime here in the United States. It's pretty much, I mean, China's on the other end where they've just cut recently, but pretty much you look across the developed world and most of the even emerging market countries. And what you've seen is interest rates have gone higher and potentially are continuing to go higher. So it's not just here in the United States. This is a global phenomenon that's playing out in front of us. Yeah. At the end of the day, folks, what I meant with Warren, but, and I believe he's I actually don't know his intention when he said that. So I should take that back. Whenever that quote originally came out, maybe there was a continuation, you know, find the opportunity behind the naked people. It's been copied and repeated so often that has been sure. lost if he said that. Um, but again, in times of financial stress, deals can be made, terms, price. Frankly, if you are shopping for a toy, a fancy car, a watch, I mean, whatever it is, there are a lot of stimulus ballers who are, you know, raising cash and selling stuff. It's this is the time to be elite at something, be focused and don't run away scared. And frankly, stop looking at the people that are losing. Go make yours. Go find the deal. Go find the gold or the diamonds. That's that's really my my goal for everyone. This is this is something that I've been toying with about how to frame out a perfect video on it. But I don't care whether it's business, whether it's investing, whether it's real estate, whatever it is. I'll take discipline 
over intelligence any day of the week, every single week. Discipline over intelligence. I'll take work ethic over intelligence any day of the week. I don't claim to be the smartest person on the planet. And, 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 you know, with that said, I don't need someone that's the smartest person on the planet working for me or with me alongside me. I need someone that's motivated and disciplined. And that is how you create good deals in your space of real estate. That is how you create good investments. That is how you don't get over your skis in the good times or in the bad times. It is tried and true, plot along, be the tortoise, not the hare. Where can people find you? Yeah. Thanks so much, Michael. Find us at Life Goal Investments. We're on both Instagram and on TikTok putting out daily information. Thank you so much.